Hi, my name is Uludari Akinaja, the managing partner of OER and the company. Today, I want to share with you on the effect of culture. Culture in the workplace, culture in families, culture of nations, generally the effect of culture. You who's watching me today, you are a product of a culture. Culture are value systems, beliefs. There are things that generally influence how we behave. The things we say, the things we do. Why you say the things you say. They are all the effects of a culture. Let me give you an example. For those of you who travel frequently, if you are at an international airport with Nigerians, for instance, <laughs> you see them queue. Okay? But as soon as you get into Nigeria, the same people who were queuing before begin to jump the queue. You know why? It's culture. For some people, they don't know why they have to wait for others before they get into a space. It's culture. Many things influence culture. How you grew, it could be a family, it could be where you lived. <laughs> I always used to tease people when I, uh, I run cultural transformation programs. I used to say where we lived or where we grew uh, determines uh, how we interpret life or our, our perspective to life. So you must pay attention to these things. You must pay attention uh, to the things that trigger your behaviors, the things that make you do the things that you do, the things that make you say the things that you say, the things that make you think it is right to eat biscuit, for instance, and throw the paper on the road. Or what makes you think it is right to change figures or bypass that meter? Like I tell people, keep looking straight. It's culture. The same culture makes you go to your workplace and think it is not important to follow through on assignments given to you. Or at the workplace, you are known as the person who gossips the most. Or at the workplace, you are known as the person who always carries tales about others. It's all a function of culture. For you to change your behavior, you must change the source or the trigger that allows for that behavior to happen. Check it. What are the things you hold right? What are the things you hold uh, important to you? What are the value systems you walk by? What are the source of these things? Where does your belief come from? Why do you say the things that you say? Why do you do the things that you do? Check it. Write it down. Go home today. Get a piece of paper. Start to take notes. Start to write. And start to do things that, say things or write down things that you must do to alter that behavior. This is one thing you must never say to yourself. That's just the way I am. Nah. It was learned. <laughs> Everything you are doing today was learned. Because they'll tell you philosophy tabula rasa. Children are born with a clean slate. Life's experiences, life's challenges, how you grew, where you lived, begin to shape your thoughts and shape your behavior so you can make adjustments. This is how I'll end this today. Stop giving excuses. Look for accountability partners. Identify what those trigger points are. Identify what the source of that behavior is. And begin to put yourself on the track to alter that behavior. What you're looking for is not perfection. What you're looking for is growth. Give yourself an opportunity to grow. And you'll be shocked how far or how well you can make such adjustments. My name is Uludara Kenaja. I always like to end those with this. What you don't know might just be hurting you. So please, go for knowledge. Thank you. Thank you.